All right, welcome back everybody. It's been a long overdue video, but we have been crazy busy with a lot of stuff. We've been gathering materials, and as you can see, we got our solar together, which is amazing. Uh, we finally have power, no generator, it's quiet, and uh, we have refrigeration now, so it's been pretty darn amazing. Um, our really good friend Christian came all the way from Chicago and helped install everything professionally for us. So all of this is hooked up right. And uh, yeah, we have an Ames 4000 watt inverter that's three phase, goes into the breaker box like a normal house. So everything, uh, you know, is powered just like normal. And then in this breaker box here, let me see if I can get it open. In this breaker box here, we have the uh, uh, switches where basically I switch it from generator to inverter manually. And then once I get an electric start um, generator, then I will be able to have the inverter automatically turn it on for us. So that's a pretty sweet option. And then this is our charge controller. It's a Victron. Uh, 150 volt 100 amp which is pretty darn powerful and uh, you know it's uh, high voltage so there's gonna be a lot less loss you know from 150 feet away where the solar panels are so it's uh, it's you know the best of the best as far as um, what I know and then you can also track everything on your phone so it's pretty darn handy and then we also, as you can see right there, we have another uh, line inside our conduit that's underground outside. Well, mostly underground. I gotta bury some of it still. But uh, our line goes all the way to the solar panels underground. We left a pole line so that we can we can pull another line, you know, in the future. And then that's our PV shutoff right there. We have uh, two, uh, I think. 150 amp uh, DC fuses right there one goes from the battery and one's from the charge controller and that's just to protect everything everything's grounded uh, it's a dedicated ground on the breaker box so everything is isolated on that I think um, but, but other than that everything is pretty normal we got a 48 volt system these are the cheapest uh, lithium ion batteries you can buy on Amazon. Uh, I think they were th 350 when we bought them and uh, It was a super good deal because like, you know, the same amount of uh, Power would have cost us like two grand, you know, any other company. So uh, This is pretty awesome. It's a 48 volt system. So it's a lot more efficient than running 12 volt So you get a lot more power right off the bat, you know for your inverter and then uh, then this is our temporary water situation we have uh you know our water tank right up here is the uh, uv filter i still have yet to hook up a little 12 volt battery pump and our uh, propane hot water heater this is all just sitting on a pallet for now until i move it into this corner i got to move these solar batteries out of the way that were given to us but uh, the solar is working awesome. We have this heat lamp on this uh, baby right here because we had a litter of piglets and the mom killed all of them but one. We've never had such a uh, bad mother when it comes to pigs and I caught her eating one of them so pretty messed up. I think she has a screw loose but unfortunately uh, she got all of them before uh, I could take them away or do anything and uh, we got this one little baby and we'll raise her for meat for next you know it probably beginning of spring you know is when uh, we'll end up processing her but we're gonna process the mother for sure because she is definitely not breeding material we've uh, we've bred quite a few pigs now and never had a mother like that like they they weren't just stepped on on accident or something when i went in there they were all scattered all it looked like a horror scene so uh and then 
me and my son both caught her eating one, so pretty messed up. But uh, anyways, on a better note, I want to show you the uh, refrigeration. We got our mini fridge and freezer and a ice maker that's not hooked up yet but once we you know get all our water completely uh, hooked up and where it needs to be then uh, we'll hook that up too but we got a deep freezer which is awesome and we have the last pig down there that we processed all vacuum sealed so it's pretty nice not having to can everything right away and be able to process even in in the colder or in the warm warmer months and then we got our mini fridge finally starting to get some fresh eggs from the uh, chickens so this area down here okay everything over here is going to be the pantry everything over by the electric is going to be utilities so that's where I'm gonna be putting all of our water and electric and you know all that good stuff and I'll probably put a desk down there to edit videos and and all that fun stuff so there is our utilities and now I will go back out and I will show you guys the uh, solar array that we built and we built the stand out of wood and we also uh, got a pallet of used solar panels off of eBay which I highly recommend if you're gonna do a whole house system it saved us a ton of money so all right guys here is the solar array I still have to go around and trim some of the boards off and you know the ends and stuff but and then paint the stand but this is all built on hinges on the front I still got to add some more but basically we built it so that I can lift it up once I build build the mechanism, um, I can lift it up and face the sun more during winter. So right now it's at the halfway between angle for summer and winter since when you know summers are short around here. So we decided to go a little further up than you know your your summer sun. So that's uh, that's how we set that up, and then it's just on some little concrete piers that we did and I will be you know connecting all those with rebar and then pour in some type of you know pad underneath or stone with concrete in it or something I don't know something cheap but that's basically it I got to put one more panel on and then connect this last row so we really have not even uh, you know accessed all the power yet and we're pumping like 6,000 or 6,500 watts, you know, in a day. So pretty, uh, pretty awesome. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the solar array. And then as far as pricing goes, uh, we spent total nine grand and that was with, you know, the lumber and everything buying rough cut lumber and the Unistrut and a $500 roll of wire connectors and you name it. It's like, it was pretty expensive but basically what we did was is we we bought you know a couple things at a time and and that's basically what we've been doing this entire time we just buy a few things at a time and when we're ready then we'll install it I've got 90 sheets of drywall sitting in the basement right now you know ready to go I just have to finish the wiring so you just got to plug away a little bit at a time I'll leave links in the description for all of the stuff that we got and uh, basically once we got all the components then we told our buddy Christian who you know has installed this stuff for a living and you know uh, works on cell phone towers he's, he's a genius when it comes to all this stuff so he hooked everything up for us I, I was basically the uh, the grunt and carried all the lumber and you know basically all that stuff it was it was pretty fun <laughs> but uh yeah he came all the way out from chicago to help us out so we are extremely grateful and uh now we finally have power we have refrigeration this is a total game changer to say the least so uh yeah i will leave you guys uh links in the description for all the stuff that we got and you know that's uh basically for like a whole house system it was the cheapest that we could get per per watt 
um this system right here you know is installed valued at like thirty thousand minimum so um it was just it only made sense for us to try to do it ourselves or at least get you know our buddy to help us out so a lot of it is installation costs um the pallet of solar panels was 1900 and the um con charge controller i think was like 1300 the all four batteries were uh 1300 the inverter was 1300 um it, it adds up pretty quick but it is well worth it because we were spending uh 15 a day in generator uh gas just to uh you know keep the kids cool and you know run tvs when when the you know um the, it's raining outside and the kids can't be playing outside or winter time we're trying to blast extra heat and stuff this is just going to help all around so but uh we're pretty excited sorry we haven't posted a lot lately we just had a lot going on and uh we will be getting back into it we just uh you know, we need to uh, kind of get some things in order before we're, you know, in full swing of things again. So, but uh, we will be posting, so stay tuned and uh, thanks for subscribing and I will see you guys on the next one. I thought I bought a heifer. Oh boy, was I wrong. A lesson for everyone. I rubbed her under It felt so damn sincere I thought I bought a heifer Oh boy, was I so wrong She picked at me dead long As if I was the only Nothing but a sputter I thought I bought a heifer Oh boy was I wrong A lesson for everyone Make sure it's not a dog It was no surprise That her milk tasted I thought I bought a heifer Oh boy was I wrong A lesson for everyone Make sure it's not a dong I was correct When you milk it hard It gets erect I filled the vat, my neighbor Pat said it's a bull, oh it's a fucking bull, you sick son of a bitch, it's a bull, you sick son of a Bitch. It's a fucking bull, you sick son of a bitch. Oh, it's a fucking bull, you sick son of a bitch. Now I milk it every day, but does it make me gay? I don't think so.